Guys, I dropped my R2-D2, so we're gonna have to do it with this guy. Transitions are important to keep your retention high. The YouTube algorithm will then reward you by pushing your video to a wider audience, which then gives you more views. Today, you'll unlock a skill that allows you to create any transition you want. We're gonna start with level one, you know, something simple. Then we'll build our way up to level four. Level one, a whip pan transition. This exercise will unlock the basic skill set for creating transitions. So here you can see two clips in the timeline. For this transition, in the project window, Click the new item button and find adjustment layer. Then drag it on top of your clip. Make sure it's 10 frames on the left side and 10 frames on the right side. Now in the effects library, find the offset effect and drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Then find the Gaussian blur effect and also drag it on the adjustment layer. All right, now head over to the effect controls and move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then set a shift center to keyframe. Also set a blurriness keyframe on the same frame. Now move to the end of the clip and change the horizontal property of the offset effect to minus 1920. This will make it move in one full cycle. Then also set a blurriness keyframe but leave it at zero. Next, move the player to the middle of the clip and increase the blurriness. Set the blur dimensions to horizontal because we're animating to the left. Now, the animation is done but we need to make it smoother. To do that, expand the velocity curves of the keyframe and pull the levers of the shift center property. This will make it ease out and ease in. This looks amazing. By the way, you can make the animation in any direction. It all depends on how you're animating the offset effect. You can now use this adjustment layer as a preset and drag it on any clip you like. You are ready for level two. We're gonna unlock some masking skills by creating this mask transition. First, make a video of yourself walking in the frame. Make sure you walk all the way out. Then for the second shot, I just film myself working. Now in the timeline, put shot one on top of shot two. Now select the top video and go to the effect controls. Move the player to the moment where you start walking into the frame. Next in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask and click the mask pad stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now in the program monitor, create a mask around your entire video. Then use your arrow keys to move one frame forward in time and adjust the mask like this. Move a frame forward again and adjust the mask again. Keep doing that until you're completely gone. You can also increase the mask feather if needed and there you go. Now, if you're busy and don't have time to create your own transitions, try finding some using the Storyblocks plugin. All you need to do is click the download button and boom, they're ready to use. Storyblocks, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Besides transitions, you can download thousands of pre-made professional video templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion, Divinity, Vinci Resolve, and with the Storyblocks plugin, you can do all of that without leaving Premiere. Storyblocks curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost, monthly or annual. You can say goodbye to expensive pay per clip pricing. Now, you can also enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Starblocks will always keep you legally covered from copyright strikes and claims so that you can focus on actually creating and not wasting time on checking legal rights. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to starblocks.com slash Premier Basics or just Click the link down below. And now it's time for level three. You'll unlock the match cut transition. We're also gonna add a zoom to make the transition super smooth. First, find two different shots of an object. Then move the playhead in between your videos and move around 25 frames back. Then set a cut. This makes keyframing much easier. Then select both your clips and go to the effect library. Find the transform effect and drag it on the selected clips. We're gonna work backwards. So let's start with the second clip. Go to the effect controls and move the playhead to the first frame of the clip, then set a scale keyframe. Now move about 25 frames further in time, then increase the scale of the moon until it fits your frame. Expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the second keyframe. This will make the animation end smoothly. Also increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees to give it some motion blur. And that's it for the second clip. Before we move on to the first one, we're gonna register the size of the moon. To do that, move the playhead to the first frame of the clip and go to the program monitor. In here, enable the rulers, then drag on the 
the rulers to create guides around the moon. Now in the timeline, select the first clip and go back to the effect controls. Go to the first frame of the clip and set a position and scale keyframe. Then move the playhead further in time and increase the scale and position until it matches the guides of the other moon. Then again, expand the velocity curves of the scale and position property. This time pull the levers of the first keyframe to make the animation start smoothly. Also make sure the last keyframes are on the last frame of the clip. Lastly, increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees and there you go. Beautiful. Level 4 unlocks music video transitions. These are two clips. One close up of a dancer and one long shot. First, hold down Alt and duplicate the second clip one track up. Then move the playhead to the first frame of the second clip, right click it and choose add frame hold. This will freeze the entire clip. Now move 20 frames back on the first clip and grab the frame hold. Snap it against the playhead and trim it so it's only one frame long. Now that clip selected, go to the effect controls and click the pen tool to create a mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask around the dancer. This doesn't have to be precise. You can do it quickly. Now when you're done, go back to the timeline and right click the freeze frame. Choose nest. We're doing this because otherwise the next effect isn't going to work. Find the Gaussian blur effect in the effects library and drag it on the freeze frame. Now increase the blurness to a thousand so that the clip isn't really visible anymore. Now in the timeline, duplicate the nest two frames further and select the duplicate. Then go to the effect controls and decrease the blurriness to make the clip a little more visible. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. This will make your transition look amazing. To get an even better video retention, click the video right here to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.